General Hospital spoilers tease that John Kate's purpose in coming to town was to eliminate Sonny Corinthos. However, Kate's official purpose in coming to town was to protect Sonny, and Kate's came as an FBI agent. But now, Kate's is dead and Kate's mission to take down Sonny has actually failed. But Kate's will soon be replaced, presumably by Jack Brennan and Valentine Cassidine. In fact, Brennan's return marks the beginning of a dark and dangerous chapter for many PC residents. Until now, no one really understood how dangerous Brennan was. His ability to escape prison, erase all traces of his criminal record, and stay under the radar has left those who know about his past baffled. The fact that the WSB and FBI aren't after him, and his numerous crimes only deepen the mystery surrounding his return. Even more puzzling is how Brennan was able to secure a position of power as head of the local WSB office, despite his criminal record. There are many unanswered questions surrounding Brennan's rise to power. How did he gain the trust of the WSB, and what strings were pulled to ensure his criminal record disappeared? Clearly, something much larger is at play, and it's clear that Brennan's return is no coincidence. He's a man on a mission, and it seems his ultimate goal is to destroy Sonny. Brennan's obsession with Sonny isn't new, but this time, his vendetta seems more calculated and dangerous than ever. Brennan's connection to Sonny is very personal, and it's clear that the desire to see Sonny dead is Brennan's primary motivation. However, his strategy to bring down Sonny does not involve a direct attack on Sonny's life or empire. Instead, Brennan is taking a more sinister approach by targeting the people Sonny cares about the most. Brennan has set his sights on Carly Spencer, Sonny's ex-wife and one of the most important people in Sonny's life. By manipulating Carly and getting closer to her, Brennan believes he can find Sonny's weaknesses and exploit them to his advantage. Brennan's plan to seduce Carly is not just about love or personal desire. It is also a tactical move, designed to undermine Sonny from within. Brennan knows that Carly holds a special place in Sonny's heart, and any threat to her will surely make Sonny insecure. Like Kate's before him, Brennan understands that Sonny's weakness lies in his loved ones. Kate's had tried a similar strategy before his untimely death, and now Brennan was determined to succeed where Kate's had failed. Brennan was determined to continue what Kate's had started, and this time, he planned to ensure that Sonny would fall apart completely. When Brennan put his plan into action, his approach would be slow and methodical. He was not rushing into the situation, which showed how calculated and intelligent he was. He was biding his time, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Brennan was keenly aware that Sonny had eluded law enforcement for years, despite his many crimes. Brennan had been secretly building a case against Sonny, gathering evidence linking him to past criminal activities. And especially those involving Kate's. Kate's death was a key part of Brennan's plot, and he was determined to uncover the truth behind Kate's death. Brennan is working behind the scenes to complete a dossier that, when completed, will expose Sonny's involvement in numerous illegal activities, including the Kate's murder. Brennan knows that simply threatening or physically pursuing Sonny will not be enough to bring him down. Sonny is too well protected, both physically and legally. Brennan's strategy, therefore, is to attack Sonny where he is most vulnerable, his reputation and his freedom. By building a solid case against Sonny, Brennan plans to turn this incriminating evidence over to the authorities. Brennan ensures that Sonny will eventually be caught and sent to prison forever.